first, I want to like preface this. So we're going to talk about ghost sports for a while. I want to talk about uh, things that, um, yeah, I just think that could be cooler on the webcast and maybe a couple of things that like uh, I've noticed other sports leagues implementing that I think are fairly simple to do uh, that I would maybe think ghost sports could do. I find it really difficult to kind of know what's going on, right? When we're watching the webcast, I don't know where players are at. I, I think I know the body count, right? Like I think it's a four on five uh, because sometimes ghost sports, they're good about filling us in on that. Sometimes they're not. Um, I don't know where players are looking and we essentially don't know what's happening, right? So one thing that I would like uh, to try to see is two, two things, right? Like two things that could help us like better watch matches and maybe like, I don't know, just understand what's going on better. And I also understand that this is certainly gonna take effort uh, and not even effort, it's gonna take money and time. So some of these things probably aren't realistic for them to implement. Some of them might be too cost effective or co cost ineffective or cost something. Um, but what I would like to see is some sort, this is the wonky setup so we can see my face. I'm gonna switch to like a bigger view of this. You'll be able to see it better. So this is kind of what uh, I talked about a couple of weeks ago, Counter-Strike. So this is kind of what we're seeing when we're watching Counter-Strike. So if you're watching uh, Counter-Strike competitively played the video game, this is a common view. So we're seeing here, I'll go to the big view. Uh, what we're seeing here is both teams, right? On the far left, you're seeing Dynasty's roster uh, as well as who's alive and who is not. And on the other side, we're seeing AC Dallas, who's alive and who's not. So those highlighted players are alive and those like grayed out or the darker colored players are all dead. I think that this allows us to see instantly uh, kind of who's alive and who is not. Uh, much better, I think, than the uh, three little dot system or the dot system they're using now where it's showing like five and four if it's a five on four. Uh, and then up in that top right corner, also kind of hard to see because of this small screen. But if you were looking at it on like a phone or uh, something else like that, you would be able to see this map a little bit better. Uh, and I'm gonna actually, this might get kind of weird looking, but we're gonna zoom in on this a little bit better. Um, so what we can see right there, uh, in that bottom left, this part actually might even be a little bit harder to see. There we go. Uh, so huge. Uh, so right there we have all five Dynasty players, right? Uh, and one thing that I think would be really interesting is if we uh, also included stats in this window. So we can see that the amount of rounds they've shot, where it says RDS, that's going to be the paint that they've shot in that point. Uh, keeping track of paint shot uh, and quantity of Paint is just keeping track of trigger pulls. That's something that the MPL, uh, I should say the MPPL did a number of years ago. So we know that you can put an RF transmitter uh, in line with the solenoid or battery or something like that. Uh, and we can keep track of shots. I know that it can't be done and it's hard to implement on current guns. But if this was something that the league said to manufacturers or something like that, they could plan it out, right? So in a year from now, we could be tracking shots. I don't think it can happen like 2020, but uh, it's something that is possible and doable. And there's also kill to death ratio on there. So you can see that KD ratio and just kind of like what's happening here. So we have round shot, kill death ratio and who's alive. Uh, this just adds more information to the screen so we can have more to watch. Uh, and these streams are just not as boring. Uh, and then up in that right corner or that top left corner, we'll make this even bigger, uh, we have that map. So you can know where the players are. So this would indicate where players are during the actual matches. So we can see Dynasty here has three guys alive and then which directions they're shooting. It's just gonna say left or right. I mean, we're not gonna be like super, super precise with this. Is you have to be like monitoring every single player all the time. And the hardest part about this is probably gonna be the manpower, right? You're probably gonna have to dedicate one person to watching a monitor to determine where the players are at and then place those players on the screen. So all this can be done through telestration. There's definitely software out there that would just allow you to put little dots on the screen. You just like tap a tablet with a layout and it would allow you to place these dots accurately. Yeah. So I know that this looks difficult, right? 
you look at that screen and you wonder to yourself like, how are they gonna do that? But it's really truly simple, right? So we need top-down camera angle. So we need a camera that's looking straight down at the field, right? You'd think drone angle, right? You just launch a drone in the air, shoot straight down, and then you can see player movement wherever those players are going on the field. But like, then you gotta have a drone pilot and like, you gotta worry about keeping the thing in the air and all that stuff. So what I think the easiest thing to do, and I've wanted to actually implement this uh, if I had a team as well. So what I would do is do something that I did not put the picture in here for. So we gotta open up something real quick here. Hopefully we don't like weird out the, uh... okay, bear with me. I don't know why I did not prepare this. Okay, so what I would like and what I think would work, uh, we're gonna do a super ghetto, is we're gonna, I don't know what I'm doing here. We're having all kinds of problems, hold on. Okay, okay. So this is the layout, right? So this is uh, that same layout that, well, this is actually a different layout, but say we're looking at the layout, right? Uh, and this is a layout, say that any, whatever, this is the layout. Uh, and you can see those two yellow lines going across that screen, right? So top to bottom, those are actually cables. So we could say in real life, we could suspend cables uh, directly across the field, right? And you would put two GoPros there. That's what those circles are, or those like, square blocks. GoPros looking straight down right there at about 75 feet in the air would be able to cover that much field. So everywhere you see uh, in that green right there, is actually, golly, everywhere you see in green right there would actually be GoPro coverage. So you'd have to look at one monitor and you could watch both GoPros on one screen. It'd be really easy to put both those feeds together and then you just have it on one monitor so you know exactly where everybody's at at one time. All you gotta do is take HDMI cables from each of those GoPros, plug them into an encoder and bam, you got video. So you gotta get an HDMI cable, uh, power cables, which is, you know, all easy, simple stuff. So like with about $3,000, I'll bet $3,500, I could do that. It's really not awfully hard. You just have to get the GoPros, HDMI cables, the power cables, uh, encoder. I mean, you could do it. It's truly not hard. And I also think that this would be very, very useful to any paintball teams, right? To be able to record your actual matches looking like straight down on the field, you could determine why players didn't go places, uh, why someone started shooting at some bunker that no one was at. You're like, why are you looking left when we told you guys were on this side of the field? You have to be looking right when you're in this position. Yeah. So I think that adding some of those on on screen things um, like like that map right there uh, or just in general, golly, I'm just having all kinds of problems right now. Uh, there's gotta be a way, a better way to like resize this. I don't know. I don't know how. Um, yeah, I just think having the, or having this on screen information, whether it was that map, uh, player counts, uh, that score, whatever it is, the more information I think we can have on the screen, uh, the more people are actually going to watch, uh, and I think the more interesting uh, the matches and games could be. So I think that there's definitely room for improvement uh, in the webcasts. Uh, yeah, and I just wanna see it. I want paintball. Uh, I wrote my notes to myself. I said, uh, so I've been doing paintball for a very long time. I was around when it was on Fox Sports, ESPN, Outdoor Life Network. And I wrote a bunch of other stuff just to like gather thoughts. Because like I remember when paintball was cool, right? I remember when like it was an aspirational thing when like people wanted to be cool and play paintball and it was fun. And I want uh, paintball to get back to that point. And I think by making some changes uh, to the webcast, we can maybe start reaching or at least trying to get back to that point.